example two. Now, we're going back again to what we talked about in example one, and we had um, a standard deviation of 20, we had a mean of 240, and for this, all we're going to do now is figure out our intervals and see how many, if there are 2,000 patients in a hospital that are being treated for this incision, like how many people would be healed of those thousand people will be healed within that first range of numbers or range of time and the second range of time the third range of time so here we're looking at these ranges so talking about from 220 hours to 260 hours how many people will be healed there how many of those 2,000 people will be healed between 200 and 280 hours how many of those 2,000 people are going to be healed and then again for C from 180 hours to 300 hours, so it's a bigger range, how many of those 2,000 people will be healed by that point? So again, these are healing times. So healing between this first one in blue, the second one in red, or the green, um, third one in green. How many people will be healed within those ranges, that range of time? And again, this is what the doctors use. So that's the important part. It's what the doctors use to try to figure out how long is it going to take you your need to be better? to heal up, to be normal. So again, we're coming back to our bell-shaped curve that we had before um, on example one. And I think it's enough space there. And again, I'm going to draw this out the best I can. It might not be the best. But again, the highest point is at the mean, which is right here. Then everything starts going down from there. And again, the highest point is at the mean, so nothing should be higher than that. So I just did did it better there, I think, but that's still horrible. All right, so just know that the highest point's here, and so everything else is going to be below that. Ooh. Yeah, something like that. It's not perfect, but it's something like that. So we said before that this was our mean, smack dab in the middle. We know here this is considered one standard deviation. So one standard deviation. And we had a, that was 68% there for one standard deviation. Uh, let's go with that. We said this was two standard deviations because when we did our x minus one standard deviation or x minus two standard deviations, this was the twos. And remember, I remember how much that was? I mean, what the percentage was? 95. Okay, 95%. And then the last one here, let's do. And these are not the same colors as up top, so it's okay. And this one was three standard deviations. And we said that was 99%. So when we do these, we're going to deal with our percentages with one standard deviation, two standard deviations, three standard deviations. So also to look at it, they gave you a range of numbers. So if they gave you a range of numbers here, so from 220 to 260, 220 to 60, that was one standard deviation, right? So that was one. That means that we're going to be using 68% here. The next one is from 200 to 280. So is that two standard deviations there? 200 to 280 for this part? Exactly. That's the two standard deviations one. So here talking about two standard deviations and that is um, 95% sorry my fault lost my train of thought and so here the last one you should be able to see that when it came comes down there that's only that's 99% so again each one of those that was 180 to 300 that was 99 99% so here that's what we're dealing with all right, so the only other part that we're going to deal with is actually, we talk about there's 2,000 patients. So 68% of those 2,000 patients should be healed here. 95% of these 2,000 patients should be healed here. And 99% um, of these 2,000 patients should be healed here. So here, let's start with the first one. To figure out how many there are, all we're going to do is multiply. So we're going to do, sorry, 2,000 times 68%. And with that, that's going to be 2,000 times 0.68. I 
And we're going to come back and we're going to do that really quickly. But I want to do the same thing for each one of these so we can visually see what's happening. So we realize, wait, this is not that bad. We can do this. And again here, that's 2,000. And we move that decimal place two places. So 90.95. And then the last thing is 2,000. nine percent and again it's 2,000 times 0.99 all right so we put that into the calculator this first one here just gives us 1360 so 1360 people will be healed here for the second one that will be 1900 people Let me get rid of this part. You don't need that. Oh, no. Come back. Come back. Don't need that. So that means 1,900 people are healed in this part. And then for the last one, we get 1980. So 1,980 people are healed from 180 to 300 hours. So that's only about like 20 more people that need to heal. So that's going to be like that leftover stuff, the outliers, the extreme stuff, the other extreme stuff. So here, it's either 68%, 95%, or 99%. Now, there it goes more in depth, but we're not going to do all that. It's like we can do stuff with 45% and all the good stuff, but we're not going to deal with that. That's even more, that's more hard than what you need to know for this. But that's it. That's all we're looking for here.